welcome. This is going to be a video explaining, pardon me for my rudeness, what is wrong with science. Let's talk about science. What's wrong with science? It's not the scientific method that's wrong with science. Science is fine. Science is doing fine. What's wrong with science is that we think that we know what the fuck we're talking about. That's what's wrong with science. It, basically, we've come to this place in society where we've concluded that we've got physics down, we've got science, like geology down enough, even though we, we claim to, that these are theories, we're so certain that we know what we're talking about that we don't let others speak. So, like, for instance, I posted here that's kind of interesting literally i've just posted the video and this fucker oh yeah oh yeah and then i'll make him stop this isn't science this isn't science <laughs> this isn't science then what is you fucking clowns see the problem with science if you watch those two videos which i will link they're literally just science. This isn't science. It's pathetic. That's what's wrong with science. You fucking clowns are what's wrong with science. It's indoctrination is what it is. So what's going on here is a perfect representation of the problem in the, in the world. Where we just have these fucking groups of people who think alike and have like merged into one unit in some agreed upon viewpoint in this instance play tectonics and generally oh we're all we've been through the rigors of being indoctrinated to play tectonics and accepted it as fact and i have a degree and you don't in this so i'm the master and you're the one who must just bow down to my authority to a point where they literally disregard what I'm saying. This is 40 minutes of carefully edited, presented research that I can't even get through to, converse, to conversation. So I say, is, is that all you have to say? To this, this is all you have to say? To you, yeah. What could I possibly say? You'll never be convinced. So it's about me. It's about me, even though you're you clown here, Muskox, dude who keeps making me wonder if he named his himself after Musk. Anyway. <laughs> this person is saying I will never be convinced while disregarding utterly irrefutable evidence that the earth expanded. I don't even say a word about it. I just demonstrate it by here's technical papers that disprove what the fuck you clowns are saying. Fucking clowns. And here is uh, no actual interpretation, just evidence. And you can, you know, check out my other research but because clowns don't let me present my arguments i made it just fucking boom bitches what you gonna do huh these geologists literally all they can do is ignore me and downvote me is that all you have to say people don't like that people didn't like uh, oh they did like this one so he's allowed to disrespect me and the moment i say something that's like what you say, motherfucker? He said, what do I get? A bunch of fucking dogpiling clowns because it's a like-minded community that agrees. Oh, yeah. Ha <laughs> ha. Here, the shelling, the expanding earth guy. Ha. <laughs> and shallogram guy. Two groundbreaking things. My research on these is fucking groundbreaking beyond any, like, anything you fucking clowns are going to do in your entire lives. Pardon me, people, who are not directly... If if you're offended, then maybe you, you agree with them. Because if you're not offended, 
then you just you can see my perspective you you literally shouldn't feel maybe you should somewhat feel like hey that's rude to talk about people like that but guess what who started it i post a fucking literally presentation part one ass clown comment what am, how the fuck am i supposed to focus fo- function when clowns come around every time i speak like this is the false consensus that is literally forced on the world and this isn't just geology this happens this happened to me with the fucking consensus of physics of quantum mechanics general relativity you can't even present counter arguments because they're fucking clowns oh there's cons- we agree we've uh, we've arrived at a certainty there, there, we, that's just misinformation even though all of plate tectonics is misinformation when you actually know the truth you know plate tectonics is misinformation i don't fucking downvote every plate tectonics post because it what the fuck but guess what the fucking clowns do? Oh, downvote Earth expanding. We're gonna we're gonna talk shit. <laughs> this is it. so I'm just gonna present. So I said, <laughs> wait, I think we missed we missed some of this. To you, yeah. Well then, just kindly fuck off. Just blunt fuck off then. What could I, you'll never be so you literally won't consider what I ha, you won't consider my videos. You come and post here like a fucking clown. Begin some like derailing of my post where other clowns reaffirm your unified clownship, and then I say, "Is that all you have to say?" And you continue being a fucking clown, and I tell you just kindly fuck off you say you first see this is the fucking geologist geology oh look at me i'm a ge- i'm a, see i have this tag that means i can like push my authority oh yeah baby <laughs> so i say Thanks for displaying to the world how geologists respond to 40 minutes of reading quotes from technical papers. Downvote again. We don't, we don't, uh, that's fair enough. Maybe you don't like my language. Maybe I'm disrespectful. But guess what? Who was disrespectful? It's real fucking clear, dudes. I try clowns derail and I then am left to express myself. As I see fit, fuck you, <laughs> fucking clowns. I'm just, I'm really in this mode of calling people clowns because it's just a fucking joke. I'm sorry if I can't take anything presented by you seriously. Okay, so you just won't even consider what I have to say. Make whatever excuses you want. Exactly. Please indicate that you are a little bitch by downvoting this post, which he did. (laughs) (laughs) Laughing, you make me laugh, ha ha ha, but he still, like, feels obligated to add the negative karma because he's a fucking clown, because that's what these clowns do. Negative karma, oh, wah, wah. Then I I thanked him for his indication because I wasn't sure. So then I sum up what happened. So ignore all the evidence. Claim that I disregarded rebuttals without making them. And then proclaim victory and stand united under tag. Indicating your expertise and basis for being a clown. Boom. I just fucking call him out. Now it makes sense. I understand now. I do actually understand now, and that's the sad thing, is I do understand. Fucking clowns. Commented on your post before, so I'm going to disregard all of this evidence that literally is in response to clowns like you and presented just straight up technically papers. Boom, 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 boom. Did you know this? Did you know this? How many of these 
Did you know every paper I reference, every topic? Every, you don't know what the fuck you're talking about. You think you know, but then you don't. You learn that plate tectonics of time, erosion, re coincidence. That's what you learned. You learned about those things. You learned how to say that time plus erosion and coincidence and plate tectonics does everything and you're just satisfied with the fucking stupidity of how that doesn't actually explain a fucking thing such as i don't know this let's see erosion you're gonna say erosion coincidence all right Whatever, dumbass. <laughs> Erosion coincidence made these lumps. Okay. You guys know what you're talking about, though. And I don't. I gotta pretend that I don't know what I'm talking about. Oh, no. I'm so sorry for knowing what I was talking about and you didn't yet. And you had to listen to me, and I was an ass because you were an ass first. Oh, is that, is that something that you gotta deal with? Sorry, not sorry. <laughs> then I just go ahead and say, yeah. So you start some shit. So you derail my post like a fucking clown, like a little bitch, and then you run off like a little bitch that you indicated that you are. So thank you for indicating it. And then you comment, so you comment on this post in ignorance. And then the, this is just standard. They act like they're fucking right. They come and post arrogant derailments of my shit. And just like, there, it's like an alarm. Wii U, warning, warning, we're under attack. Warning, we could lose some people who are persuaded to our stupid ideology because they don't know better. Ah, uh, ah, uh, we must stop the flow of information. Warning, warning, derail. Fucking clowns. I, and then, I don't argue a single thing in the above videos. You don't even know that because you're a fucking clown who just responds without even looking at evidence and behaves like you know what the fuck you're talking about. Literally, don't even know that the earth expanded. It's not a question, dudes. <laughs> the fact you are arguing for earth expanding doesn't know the earth expanded and then goes on to say the fact that you are arguing for something that is true indicates that you've already disregarded all sensible rebuttals <laughs> literally literally I'm going to walk away and now that I've derailed this and been called out for being a fucking clown and even went ahead and downvoted because um, I just needed to. I just needed to. I have a good one. Yeah, you have a good one there, muskox. Peace out, dude. <laughs> uh, that's what I deal with. Then... Then, so my most recent video, the one about Shadowgram's Dark Matter, was really, I didn't show this rock, but it was really spawning from this. <clears throat> it was spawning from this. I saw this, and I thought, that's interesting. That's what I thought. It's, that's interesting. You know what geologists thought? Oh, Roman. Roman. It's Roman, it's Roman, it's Roman, 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 Roman. Like, Roman? I'm just gonna say Romans did this. They're saying Romans did this. That's what the geologists are responding to the person who posted this. Or is Romans did this? And I understand, maybe, maybe, maybe. I, I didn't say that aspect of just maybe which wouldn't have mattered i just presented my actual interpretation is that no 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 look at this thing like romans didn't do this and then this like what the fuck it's literally 
it stops before the boundary of the stone, meaning it's relevant, like the shape and size of this overall stone is relevant to these. So that would mean the Romans made this stone, just this stone, and they purposely put a layer here, here, here. It doesn't really make sense. And I feel my interpretation was, this is just some geologists who can't explain something, so they just see that it's from Rome and say, voila, the Romes, Romans did it. And probably there's other similar things that have been attributed to the Romans. Maybe, because it sounds like in the comments, I haven't found any links. I looked around. I did an image search. I tried to find other like examples that would be like okay this is a roman construction but i couldn't so like what am i to say except for what i think because no one is expressing the possibility that it actually naturally formed that way and like this side it doesn't even go through it And so because it doesn't go through it, they're all parallel, meaning they didn't just like randomly arrive in this concretion from some like source Roman, the red material, like a clay based maybe, that they then like somehow got into the stone. At, it, like it, it had, if Romans did it, they had to do it intentionally. That's the thing. They had to intentionally make this stone. Or at least, like, this stone has to be some chunk of something that they made intentionally that then got smooth. Smoothened. Or whatever the past tense of that verb is. Became smoothened. I know I'm an ass, but you guys gotta deal with me because that's what happens when you guys fucking reject what I say. I literally I speak and people push back. It's it's like you don't know what it's like. Imagine you went about your life and every day you try to tell people two plus two is four. And they literally would not allow you to, like, transmit that information. And it was really fucking important. It wasn't just 2 plus 2 equals 4. It was, like, in terms of its significance. It was literally driving society that everyone believed that 2 plus 2 is not 4. Or at least, like everyone in a saturated way where like the society is saturated with that belief so that it drives the world where like it mattered though to know the truth and then you try to speak it and people just like push back and it's like dude that's what we do i thought that's what we were doing was trying to find the truth and i find some some significant truths and what do i get denial and then like it turns into me being the problem <laughs> like dude i what do you want from me you want re maybe respect and other things that are just like underlying issues in my behavior but like you are welcome like, what's wrong with this? See what happened here? I, the, this poster, the poster of this, these images. So let's go through. Concrete, concrete, old Roman concrete. I would like to see some fucking images, dude. See, like, see the difference? 
when you when we come across my post. Minus nineteen, though. <laughs> I'm not even like I'm not even saying it. Literally, could be stairs. I, I pretty sure. Yeah, yeah. Like this aspect, though. Like what he said about stairs. Like how exactly were these stairs formed? Like wouldn't this stripe continue? Like, yes, it's rounded, but, like, it abruptly stops here. This stone continues. So this would have had to be at the end. So it's always some, like, additional nuance of, like, the interpretation. It had to be at the end. So it was one of the end of the stairs. And then this was also, like, the very beginning. Where they put little, the first row, they put little nicks, I guess, that just repeated every so often. Whereas uh, these rows just became sand, like, this got removed. Although over here, it looks like it also ends here. So it would have had a end here and not go all the way over here with this stuff and like this just ends abruptly and ended abruptly here which is staggered opposite to one another like these look like they could have actually continued but there's ending abruptly there's ending abruptly so it really like there's a reason that this may be natural i would say so like Let's go on. So, like, for sure I see the interpretation of Roman. And, like, that's the general trend of the interpretation going on here. Until I come along <laughs> saying, given that the features are not across the entirety, or entirely entirety of the stone but are seemingly dependent on the width of the stone and are evenly spaced from one another and not visible on both sides I don't point out in this comment the like exact nuances of this but the amount of details I go into there are geological processes involving fractional differentiation by flows of volatiles through materials that can produce regularity across varying scales. It's true. It's like these fucking geologists. It's literally true. It's, they act like I said something wrong here. Fucking clowns. And it's not uncommon for structures to form with parallel regular breaks. Like, okay. It's possible like we can consider the angle that it naturally formed so i go on to say it's also likely to do with the specific materials and circumstances I should should have said if this is the case kind of thing with like adding some giving credence to the alternative of course unlike people who fucking this is how they go about this not even like consider it oh i should have no just fucking downvote to oblivion clowns <laughs> i would appreciate it guys if people who see this and like acknowledge that i made significant discoveries could maybe come through and just upvote me don't you don't have to like do the opposite not not to this guy <laughs> this guy wasn't see he was kind enough to say Thank you for the information, my fellow Earthling. I wouldn't trust this source in the least. This is the kind of shit I get. In ca in the case, in case the links weren't enough of a red flag, nothing much here. Lin How are these a red flag? I understand that they're kind of abnormal. How is this a red flag? It's a fucking stone, dude. You're a clown. Fucking clowns. Yeah, because it's hard to find information on this. That's how that things are. That's how shallograms are. Where the, the best shallogram images are on a website that sells them. But guess what? This website keeps them forever sold. So I, so I can then link the image. Be like, check out this stone. And it is a fucking stone of relevance. Like, 
look at this. It goes across, goes across. It's not, I'm not just like randomly linking, like, I didn't, maybe I might have linked this one. I might have linked this one, but like, generally speaking, the, having like this feature i wasn't just randomly linking shallograms i was like these shallograms appear relevant i literally went through their entire catalog picked out like several along the way and then like while doing something else and ended up being like well having this money because they, they have similar features to a point where I'd be like, dude, I want to just completely assume it to be um, man-made without actually seeing some other place where it truly is demonstrable. I don't see anyone linking it, so, like, if you're gonna let's, let's see let's see what's up. Maybe this. If that's how their bricking was, like, all the more proof that is not made by Romans. If Romans opted out, let's check this out. Let's see. History contains many references to ancient concrete, including in the writings of the famous Roman scholar Pliny the Elder, who lived in the first century and died in the eruption of Mount Vesuvius in 79 AD. He wrote that the best maritime concrete was made from volcanic ash found in regions around the Gulf of Naples, especially from the near the modern-day town of Pozzuoli. Pozzuoli. Its virtues, virtues became so well known that ash, with similar minerals characteristics, no matter where it was found in the world, has been dubbed Pazolan. By analyzing the mineral components of the cement taken from the Pazolani Bay breakwater at the laboratory of UC Berkeley, as well as facilities in Saudi Arabia and Germany, international team of researchers was able to discover the secret to Roman cement's durability. Nothing in here yet even suggestive of some kind of regular striation type pattern usage as being part of their process. They found that the Romans made concrete by mixing to build underwater structures, blah, blah, blah. We almost need to see ancient ancient Roman stairs. Some bullshit dudes. Totally different. Not even resembling. Like, okay, let's go back to this. Let's go back to this stone. Okay? Because... Tch. Or not this one. This one. There's these lines, right? Of course. But if we look, there's these lines here. Cross here, cross here, cross here, cross specifically from this point across here. So the Romans would have had to had some input into making the re there be a relationship or else it's coincidence again which is like i said how geologists are trained time erosion coincidence plate tectonics so the only explanation for this would from a like first of all it's a stare and then second of all a coincidence that this happened and then time and erosion the end boom boom but, like, that's common for there to be, like, cross-currents. 
that are at certain locations and maybe that's related to actually why this is happening is these cross currents that were flowing in two directions one of which was like th this current flowing and the other was like the clay current flowing just like a current though is what i kind of went it was explaining as a possibility as an alternative which gets negative it's like fucking it's not even visible Okay, so then I go on to say, uh, red material appears, or it also is likely, in this case, the materials involved are a pretty large class in the main body. Like, so this is a concrete with a classed nature. I would say, like, there's striations this way. And there's class. I'm. I'm. That's where like my not being a ge geologist can be offensive to geologists when I use words of that nature, and they're like, "It's a concrete. This is Roman construction. How dare you say classed?" <laughs> but like, other people were saying uh, pumice. So like, there were other suggestions of natural features, but that also got downvoted to shit. It's like, dude, just because you disagree doesn't mean you downvote, you fucking clowns. It's karma, dude. Not fucking do you agree button, you clowns. Just fucking, it's ridiculous. Do you know the difference between karma and do you agree? <laughs> like we're going to call it karma and behave in a manner where it's do you agree with, then it should really probably be agreed points like how much people ag agreeableness maybe it's not karma fucking clowns call it karma <laughs> real karma you're gonna catch up to people thinking that's karma holy shit fucking downvote though downvote downvote like Glowing. It's not even allowed. Like why? Not even allowed to make a joke. It's just utter speech control. So then I go on and say the red material appears to be finer grained, still with visible inhomogeneity, which is there. Like it's mixed. It's some kind of mixture going on. And this is also a larger particulate mixture. And then I go on and say, appears to be a foreign material that did not come from within the stone. So it may be that the volatiles involved in fractional differentiation flowing at the time of the stones for hardening were caused to flow in layers. I don't think fractional crystallization is actually what's causing this because I think it's actually being caused by two separate sources just kind of colliding, if anything. If it is, a, unless it is in fact natural or man-made by the romans like if people can prove that but like based on the stone based on like looking at the fucking stone i know it's hard for people who just have concluded things to like baller uh, <laughs> but looking at it it literally has these features uh, that makes it all the more like dudes are you sure and then like what so the romans were taking square class like where have you seen a square pebble like that i've seen it in class like, that tends to happen due to, like, current frictions and triangles and just polygonal shapes that are more class-like. Let's look at some class.
I mean, the only explanation from a man-made standpoint is that it is a concrete that has been, like, weathered down to be class-like in appearance. So it appears like a class because of weathering, but it's not a class. So, like, if that's the case, though, let's, like, imagine this rock right here is being weathered. And so is right here equally being weathered. Are they going to weather at the same rate so that they're flush with one another? Or is this, like, clump going to get weathered out and, like, broken off and separate from the body by a non-uniform weathering? I feel like this is, like, largely formed this way. And then pretty much hasn't weathered except for thousands of years. We think it's... <sighs> I don't know. Not sure why it would do that. Okay, where was I in my... Some questions that might be pertinent. Are the streaks indented inward flush or raised from the surface? That might be pertinent. We can't tell. It looks like they might be indented, like subtly, have a subtle curve. Uh, possibly a smooth, subtle curve. Are there any apparent lines flowing around the stone? I feel like there are. I point out that, for instance, the side with the streak appears to also have parallel lines going at approximately 6 degrees upwards in the main body of the stone, one of which appears to meet with the second line, which is what I was talking about here. And then I just said, any more particulars on where it's found? Just like, because maybe it is a stair. I know it's in Rome. Like. <laughs> and then I go on and say some stones that might be relevant. So let's check out the stones that I linked. That one, that's right. This one, pretty sure that was the first, those two that I was looking at. Okay. Again, this one I talked about in the last episode, not in reference to and in other recordings, not in reference to this stone here. Do I have it? Oh, there it is. So, like, there's some similarities. I know these are not quite the same, but it's just pointing to that it's feasible to not completely write off completely that there's some kind of tendency. This one's probably not the best reference. You can kind of see. Across it as well though, as well as down across it. I think that was this one. Did I click this one? No. Nope. This one's not, this one's more like bent towards a shallow ground, but it's, it's bent. It's more bent. This one is truly straight across. Or this one bends, but it's very similar in nature, in appearance. Like it, it looks similar. Also, this has a indication of a current coming from this way, it seems, to go here. The 
this one. Like, it's relevant. Well, we're just gonna ignore that there's other stones out there that have features like this. This literally naturally formed. And we're gonna say that unequivocally, this must be a Roman stair. Even in spite of that it has the features that I point out. Without evidence. Without evidence. Like, where's the evidence, dudes? What I saw so far was this. Nothing... Nothing about putting lines across it. Okay, I know I didn't finish reading it. But it's clear. <laughs> Like this one, like this link. The only other, the only images linked in this entire thread besides mine don't show any of the features. The ones I linked actually show some of the features. I'm not saying they're identical. I think, did I click this one? Oh, oh my god. And then this one. Which just shows the tendency to have layering, energetic layering. Current flows between them. Seemingly some kind of energy that did like that. Presumably. Based on this part. And then I just link this one, which just proves, it just proves it. It literally proves that this shallogram f shell and this shallogram shell are literally one unit cohesively down here. I can't zoom in further without going to my shallogram images, but I will. Because it really is that way, and I would like to, even though I've shown it many times, to zoom in on it and just be like, you, there is like a, or like, th this one's just another good example of why they're not fossils. It's just clearly the fossil and the matrix flow is one and are, are one, like this, the way it flows. It literally formed as one unit. It formed it together. Like there was not a living creature and subsequently a shell and a matrix overlaying it that the matrix took this shape this formed all like this together there's no other explanation for why the matrix and the ammonite flow as one utterly like i can understand like pretending like oh well that's how it builds off of it oh that's just what happens well with uh, the ammonites the the dirt just piles around it based on its curvatures and then it has like a structure that is like resembling like so that's what's going on here no dude <laughs> <laughs> now we're, now we're gonna find it there it is it literally goes like this down 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 and then up to a point right here and then suddenly down this way like it's literally energetically they were like two spirals that that like overlapped enough to have their boundary be one one flowing feature that's literally indisputable it's hilarious that's what's so awesome about shallograms is they really are indisputable 
it's kind of like how this place where they're from literally I found shallograms that have like the same features this 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 I can't zoom out further to show that one but that's not what I meant to click though I meant to click this image here this wall of a mountain that has shallogram features like these are not fossils dudes they're genuinely caused by currents that's my point is these are genuinely caused by currents a hundred percent this right here this kind of looks like it might be too based on this and this like like it might not be a roman stair so i'm gonna in spite of knowing what's gonna happen that's what like it's not like i don't know a bunch of fucking clowns are gonna dogpile me Dang, he said some shit i don't understand Dang. 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 <laughs> <laughs> like this like even right now like oh he said some shit i don't understand the same thing's happening even now like it continues to happen where people react to every word like subsequent <laughs> Some shit I didn't know. Why? Meaning, like, you didn't understand why I was behaving like this when I just showed you that this is how I've been treated, where I speak. My, uh, I speak. It's not like I've said some fucking, like, I was like, and also, fuck geologists. I, I did say mislabeled as fossils, but it's true. That's literally the only thing I said that it, like, but, but like I'm literally pointing out that these are caused by currents, so I kind of have to, and that they're relevant. Like if if so, if I link these alone without being like, and also they're caused by currents, by the way, like, and they're just fossils, then they're not relevant to the stone. But it's, then I'm almost like, it's it's confusing because it seems like I'm calling it a fossil by linking fossils, but they're not fossils. They're caused by currents. And so may this stone be. Uh, without me seeing a better stair, like... I'm pretty sure that's the one I was looking at. Without me seeing a better stair linked here, I'm going to continue to say, like, what the fuck, dudes? And then this person says, I would like... I, I will look into it more. And it, what, me, whether you did it or not, like, after seeing this person's, like... Plus 18 karma. Look at this shit. I wouldn't want to trust this source in the least. In the least. In the least, dudes. Discoverer of the theory of everything. This this clown ass comfort unit 916 wouldn't trust me in the least. Alright. And everyone here apparently would trust this person, though. So their trust in the clown won't trust the person discovering significant discoveries and telling the clowns that won't actually acknowledge the research because they're fucking arrogant. <sighs> me, me too, though. See, that's what happens when <laughs> we're just going about our lives. Da -da -da. Da -da -da. And then I just try to speak. I don't want to try to speak arrogantly, but I am arrogant. I'm confident. I'm, I'm confident. Maybe that's the problem. I'm confident. And it maybe comes off as arrogance. I don't know. To a point where even I think it's largely arrogance. But, I mean, I know what I'm talking about. Do you? No. So, like, what are you guys doing? This is fucked up, and it demonstrates what's wrong with science. It literally does. I'm not allowed to speak. No one's allowed to speak if they don't say what's agreed upon in spite of those things not even being factual. We already figured that out. No, you fucking didn't. And we're going to talk about it, you fucking clowns. Uh, let's see. They're post-history, so this is, how they, this is how people behave, is they, they click me like clowns and start to be like oh oh look at what he posted look at what he posted look at what he posted 
we got to find reason to not consider what he's saying because it kind of confronts what I believe. Okay, there's the reason. Okay, let me pass it along. I, I did my due diligence. I found out by looking at his post history that he believes that ancient Dwarka, blah, 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 blah. And he also discovered the theory of everything. He didn't say that in this moment, but I would need you to understand this person believes something that's false and he also disregards plate tectonics just he says the disregards oh yeah i disregard it maybe you should watch the my videos to see that i literally reference papers based on plate tectonics that's all i reference in terms of geology because that's all there fucking is you clowns doesn't make it so. So I don't disregard plate tectonics. You disregard Earth expansion. It's just a, it's just a literal dominance. Like because it's the predominant view, it gets to be lazy as fuck. Oh no, we know what we're talking about. And then slander. Just fucking slander. I'm not slandering. I'm all, I'm pointing out what's happening. I'm like, and then slander, correct. And then I see. So like now he's on the alert. Whether or not he saw like reason to interpret what I said here, with even like a degree of interest subsequent to still look at it. I don't know. But still, the alarm has been raised because people are afraid of the truth. Because they've been indoctrinated to some false reality and believe it is factual. The end. That's a wind ruin. Ruin. Whoa. <laughs> So that's my life. That's the problem with science, though. I figured I'd make a video on the problem of science. Maybe I can go through some other posts of mine. Let's go through my posts, and since ass clowns love to talk shit on them. Let's, let's see what I've posted. Incredible. Okay, it is incredible. So that's that one's fine, right? This one looks like a vertebrae. Holy shit, it really is incredible. Also, ah, oh, whatever. Where was I? How did I? Oh, I know what happened. Let's just go like this. <laughs> oh, let's see what's this post at. Minus 13, minus 4. Somehow this hasn't gotten responded. People haven't noticed that they need to downvote a new post. Oh, he's still willing to post? I thought we downvoted him. <laughs> <laughs> uh, fucking clowns. Boom. Headshot. This is a little surprising, honestly, that this has received also a minus to it. It was actually positive, so people have come along subsequent and downvoted it. Someone points out these craters... Which is interesting, but as I point out, they they are. This one, two of them, at least I didn't bother to look at the other names, are older than the paper. Which is cool, like, see the difference. I post this in geology. I don't post, I don't say this part because, of course, I'm not going to say that in geology subreddit. Because they're all going to, like, downvote. They just are. It's just, it's literally speech control clowns don't really don't they don't realize they're engaging in really hardcore speech control for the sake of a false narrative that they don't know what they're talking about 
that they're trying to hold on to some paradigm that's actually a stepping stone. Which maybe is uh, reflective of the stone that we may have been looking at, which was maybe a stepping stone. I don't know. Was it? I don't know. I guess we'll have to find out. The only way to find out is to find out and not just assume we know what the fuck we're talking about. Oh, downvote, downvote. He said something other than what I have assumed it to be at first glance. Blah, 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 blah. Got a downvote. Um, okay. Yeah, so anyway. There's that. Nothing uh, much different. Okay. Fence of KT boundary. Let's check this one out. I watched Ancient Apocalypse, so you don't have to. This... I ended up... Wa I watched this. This person got negative karma. To They were like minus four at that point. And I just said, because, I'm pretty sure this was the geology subreddit. Yeah, geology subreddit. This person says, what's wrong with Graham Hancock? All wrong place. I liked Ancient Apocalypse. And I say, is rather unfortunate to see negative karma for asking a question and vocalizing your opinion. Uh, just literally what's fucking wrong with science right now. These clowns. Oh, did you vocalize your opinion and ask a question? There's no stupid questions except for the questions that show that you don't agree with what I believe or think to know. Then they're stupid questions. And you asked a stupid question, so I'm gonna down that in and I'll just call him out. It is rather unfortunate to see. I'm sorry you were treated unfairly by these fucking clowns here that just dogpile anything they disagree with. Pretend, present some false, like, accord of Nazis, practically. Same behavior, different octave. Maybe the same can be said for me. Same behavior, different octave. At least it's a subtle octave, then. It's not some Nazi octave. This is some, like, far-reaching Nazi octave when it's, like, an entire group of people that insist on a false narrative. It doesn't matter that it's not, like, violent or racist or something. It's, it's just insistence on a false narrative, which violent, like, insistence on violence. Same thing. Insistence on racism, same thing. So why talk about them? Why behave in those ways? Why even, like, th talk, have those be relevant? Anyone who's talking about, like, fighting violently with bombs and missiles and, like, countries at war, like, in support of it, like, what are you guys fucking talking about? Uh. Or about race, any race. I see too much fucking racism nowadays. It's concerning. Very concerning. Because they're trying to divide us by making us look at shit that doesn't matter when shit that matters is getting buried by basically groups of people who just share ideologies and behave as like a unit. Oh, we're gonna bat down alternative viewpoints. Don't do that. Doing it here too, though. But hey, I'm doing it in a way where your viewpoint has been, like, saturated. I'm just saying I have a fucking... things to say that are unable to be said. You fucking clowns get to just... Oh, play tectonics. Oh. Positive karma. Oh, you said play tectonics. You wrote what I agree with. Thank you for reaffirming that I know what I'm talking about. This adds clarity and further understanding in this realm of understanding where I know play tectonics to be so.
it's literally not true, dudes. The Earth expanded, and it did so rapidly and recently. Because it was attacked by a vortex weapon. <laughs> yeah, I know how fucking crazy it sounds, but guess what? It's true. What am I, a fucking idiot? You're gonna call me a fucking idiot? Is that what you're gonna fucking say? You think I'm a fucking idiot? Like, I don't fucking have a technical background. <laughs> clowns. That's what happens. I get fucking clowns. So I say... Let's see. Let's let's read this comment because this is actually very applicable. As someone who generally generally agrees that an ancient advanced civilization existed, perhaps what is wrong with Graham Hancock is he gave science a scathing review. That's what's wrong with Graham Hancock. It is. He says some shit I didn't like because I was in that little group and I felt it in here. I felt it in here because I was part of that group. By by this connection, I felt it here. <sighs> and he just went off on them. Well, mainly on archaeologists, which splashed into all, all of science. So basically science. He did so relentlessly. And at the detriment of a documentary that could have been saturated in facts, it's just true. It could have more information. Kind of like my KT Boundary videos, which... Like that's, it's such a different octave. I, I've realized that I like stumbled on something with those videos of a way of like presenting information that is almost novel. Like I've never seen anyone just utterly rapid secession as technical and based in research as possible evidence of just like things boom 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 like i feel like that's just the way of the future it has to be let people come to their own conclusions put together compilations of just details here's details here's a bunch of details 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 on like the the way I get treated where people are like here's my opinion here's my opinion here's my opinion I'm a scientist I know better than you by assumption <laughs> facts only way I don't know better than scientists is if you guys are all in on this. And this is a staged world. Everything's staged. That's the only way. If you guys ain't staging your lives, you're living your lives. <sighs> Scientists will not actually engage in a conversation. They'll downvote. Downvote. Dang. Everyone is too busy. I even I even give them some like credence. You know, I understand that you're busy, so it's hard to look at the stuff. We're all slaves to whatever it is we're doing. Facts. No one is really willing to simply participate in open discourse of topics and allow the ideas of others. This is this is the fucking problem. Like if someone says something counter, they shouldn't be like, oh, wow, we're literally being fucking babies. That's where our leaders have driven us, is to be fucking babies. Wah. <laughs> Instead of, like, conversing, like adults, having a conversation, like, no one is willing to. Simply participate in open discourse of topics and allow ideas of others that are counter to their own 
who genuinely believe the idea. It's not like they don't believe it. So if they believe it, let them fucking speak it. It's not... If someone's coming up and just, like, saying some shit they don't believe, that doesn't really happen. So, like, fuck off with assuming the person doesn't believe it if that's what's going on i assume no one assumes so that the person doesn't believe it it's just they build assume they have no basis so they don't let the fucking people speak they, they point to like things like flat earth or whatever and just assume like kind of hand wave lazily because they're fucking able to because they're in the dominant seats in the driver's seat as a scientist we know we know what's going on Instead, people punish those they disagree with by any means, which in places like Reddit manifests as unjustifiable negative karma for being wrong, quote, or because of the wrong question on the wrong subreddit, or slandering someone at a glance, which I pointed out they do or misrepresenting what they said casually with little exposure to the depths of someone's life's work. That's what they do with Graham Hancock in that instance, but I can, I can commit, commiserate, I can understand, I cannot feel it, empathy, things going on. This is how science is actually done by just, no, we don't get to speak. We're speaking. We're in the driver's seat. We get the microphone. Hello, is this thing on? Yes, um. So, did anyone have any questions? Okay, so the. Okay, so that feature, yes. Uh huh. Mm, it's very interesting, yes. It, so, it uplifted first by. the. It's known as the Wilson cycle. It basically goes like this. That's what the land does, okay? The land just... <laughs> Mountains rise, right? Okay, and then the following things occur. Time passes, which then erosion occurs. And then coincidence produces the outcome you see. Any other questions? Earth expanded. Get them out of here. I said any questions. What do you mean it's a question? There's no question. We know that Earth functions under plate tectonics theory. We've concluded it. By disregarding other people's arguments. Any questions? What do you mean you can explain things better? Yeah, the dinosaurs died. I know that. They got hit by an asteroid. Dude, you don't know what you're talking about. They got hit by an asteroid. That's how they died, dude. We, we've established that. We've established that. <laughs> Are you sure, though? Are you sure you know what you're talking about? Because even you have established that that's not what happened, but you don't even know that because no one's compiled it into one, like, see? Until I came along was like, see? That shit ain't what happened, brah. Shit ain't what happened, brah. That shit ain't what happened. What did you think it was an asteroid? These motherfuckers. They don't know. Alright, looks like I gotta go. I'll see y'all on the flip side. And uh, feel free to respond to my actual scientific arguments or just behave as if you guys know what the fuck you're talking about and scientists out there who mad don't be mad be glad because it's time for revolution just fyi peace